Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Nimbus DevOps, and I'm here to go over uh, an overview of the new AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam, SAAC03. This exam will go live August 30th of this year, 2022, and replace the SAAC02 exam. The SAAC02 exam will expire the day before on August 29th, so if you need to recertify or are currently studying for the exam, I highly recommend that you take that exam before August 29th because the content's going to change after that and you want to make sure that you are fully prepared and not wasting your time with all the training that you're investing in right now. So let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at uh, how these compare. So this is a graphic posted by Tutorials Dojo. So thank you to Tutorials Dojo for this information. And uh, let's break it down. So you still have five domains, but the distribution is slightly different. And there's one change to the domains uh, that we'll take a look at. Um, and we'll save that for last. So the resilient architecture is dropping from 30% to the exam down to 26 and high performing down from 28 to 24, which means you're probably going to get one or two less questions about resilient and high performing architectures um, because you are going to get maybe one extra question or so on cost optimized architectures. And that domain is not likely to change much. Uh, there may be part of the cost optimization architecture that is not exactly covered that they want to make sure is there. Um, and I think it's something that definitely comes up in the real world. So you want to make sure that you understand cost optimization very well. Uh, resiliency and high performance are, of course, very important. But when I'm doing projects, usually uh, code refactor, cost optimization, and security are the top three things that uh, need to be done before we start looking at better, faster ways to do things. Um, so that gets into our last domain here, which is designing secure applications and architectures. So this one goes up from 24% to 30%. So you're going to see a significant increase in this. And it's not just because it goes up 6%, six, six but you'll notice that it goes from design secure applications and architectures to just design secure architectures. So the application portion of this has been completely stripped out. And we're going to expect to see all of the previous questions that were app related are now going to be purely architecture related, in addition to being 6% more of the entire exam. So there's going to be a lot of security questions. So you can expect a lot more from networking and IAM and guard duty and WAF and all that stuff. So definitely start investing more time into learning about security and cost optimization and maintain what you've already been working on with regards to resiliency and high performance. Um, there is a little footnote here that um, they're almost the same domains, right? Almost. And we discussed that. But uh, importantly here is that there are no exam labs in the SAAC03 exam. There are in the... Um, SysOps administrator exam, you know, that uh, if you've been keeping up with that, that they did add exam labs, but do not worry um, until they change this again, which is likely to be at least two years, probably three or more, that the SAAC03 will not have exam labs and you do not need to worry about that. So uh, good luck on all of your exams. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And if not, I'll see you later.